Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a True & Co haul, which I'm not sure I've really talked about them too much on my YouTube channel, but I've definitely mentioned them on Instagram quite a few times. Um, I've been a huge fan of this brand for a long, long time. They are a San Francisco based brand and they're lingerie, but like, they sell a bunch of different lingerie. They sell a lot of like regular bras and they also sell a lot of um, bralettes, which is what I typically like to wear. I'm not sure you guys got that hint by now with all of my lingerie hauls. Um, but I've worked with them on the gifting basis only. Um, still to this point, they gifted me all these items and I just wanted to kind of show you them and kind of give you a more comprehensive review of a lot of what they carry. Um, they did give me like $500 worth of product, which is quite a bit. I basically went on, tried a bunch of their True Body stuff. I do have some of their True Body um, underwear and then some of their Calvin Klein. They carry other brands as well. It's not just True & Co. Um, but I really, really like this brand and I think they have a lot of good options. I would like to see them go more size inclusive. I feel like they only have a few items that go up to larger sizes. So that would be my one thing, but I know they are working on that. Um, I do think they're great for more gender neutral folks. Like they're great for people that don't really want to worry about like having a lot of like uplift. Maybe they're more interested in sort of binding or, you know, not really creating a lot of shape with their upper torso, which I'll honestly I do that constantly like I don't it's not that I'm trying to like remove the idea of breasts from my body I just personally sometimes don't like that look I would rather like have no boobs or like all the boobs and so sometimes I just try to like minimize them as much as possible and I know a lot of people are into that and this brand and like tomboy x does it really really well um, because I feel like they're very flattering cuts but very very comfortable and really breathable material so anyway I feel like I'm just going on and on and on but I definitely am a big fan this brand and um i love san francisco i'm from the san francisco bay area in case you guys are not familiar with me or my channel or me as a person but um anyway let's jump into this because otherwise this video is almost three minutes in and i have haven't even introduced the actual items yet and in case you're curious i'm wearing um the bodysuit by universal standard i just did a universal standard like well, not just a universal standard haul, but I did like a minimal haul and this was in it. So you guys will see this in its glory later. I love it though. I'm not wearing a bra with it and I'm obsessed with it. So jumping into this very large box, um, they basically stuffed it full, literally. It's like bursting at the seams. So I'm gonna go through these. I thought about just sitting down and showing you guys everything, but I think that it would be better if I tried them on one by one, um, just so you can kind of tell. And that way I can keep track of what it actually is and size and things like that. Um, this is an extra large, and it doesn't actually have the name uh, or the style on here. I will say that I got quite a few of these and an extra large and a large because I wanted to show the size. This one I think is one that she actually sent me herself, um, the PR girl, because she wanted me to try it, but it wasn't on the site or it was sold out. So let me try this one on first. So I just changed to a pair of shorts so I can show you everything. Probably not gonna show you on the underwear because they're very, very thin material and I feel like they're great so you don't see any lines, but they're definitely like probably not safe for the consumption of the internet in terms of YouTube. But I really, really like these. I have honestly, like you guys have seen them on my Instagram a bunch of times because I wear them constantly. I feel like they look really cute, almost like as a bra top. Um, and I just love that look personally. They're also really, really comfortable in terms of like the material. This one does have a little bit of padding that you can remove on the inside if you want, but the padding does kind of give you a little bit more shape and um, a little more shape, I guess shape is the word but um here you go a little closer up viewpoint the light's a little weird so sorry about that um but it does have a lot of coverage which i like i like this longer bralette style honestly like i would wear this with like a kimono over the top or something like that i feel like this is a cute look i personally think that these kind of bralettes work really really well almost as a top but that's just me i you know i think they're super they're super comfortable they're really really breathable the material is super soft um it does have you know uh the adjustable straps on the back i didn't 
play with it too much so I probably could if I wanted to. I want to show you what I mean in terms of like I would wear it almost like as a top. So this is a like um, piece from ASOS and I would literally just tie it and leave it sort of hanging out or I'd wear it with a bra like this but um, this is sort of the idea or like a loose kimono that just kind of opens and like hangs loose obviously it would be like a full kimono rather than like a wrapped tie top but I really like this bra I definitely would recommend checking this one out I don't think I have the name of this one because I think this is the one that she sent me and I didn't order so if I can find it on the site I'll link it below other piece that she sent me this one's also in an extra large this one says true everyday seamless convertible and i believe the convertible you can remove the straps here on the top which is nice and maybe like create more of um razorback i think is the name someone corrected me in the last video which i really appreciate because i totally blanked and forgot the name of it um it does have a bunch of adjustable straps in the back that this one this one doesn't you just pull it over i will say it doesn't like um, attach in that fashion it's only um, on the adjustable straps but this one's fully adjustable we have another like I said this is very similar to the other one it's supposed to be a little longer in terms of like the way it sits but just moving around it starts to roll up on me that's my only thing with this particular one um, it's a little annoying like I feel like I even if I rolled it up and like wore it like this I feel like I feel it bunched here so I'm not sure this one's gonna get a whole lot of wear in my wardrobe but obviously they sent me a lot of bras so I'm not going to be like hurting for bralettes but it does feel really nice you can adjust everything I just feel like because I'm a little wider here it doesn't fit the way it's supposed to I feel like it's supposed to be longer um, as you can see the back is fully adjustable I mean I like it other than that I just feel like this is an annoyance to me like if it's supposed to come here I want it to sit here and not continuously roll up you know what I mean I do like that the pads again are completely removable if you don't want that option um, it has like a decent little neckline here too I like that it's completely convertible I think that's a really awesome option but this is definitely not my favorite so they also sent me this exact same piece in a size large. I'm gonna try it on. You guys can see what I mean. Like this is all the extra fabric down here that's supposed to sort of sit. Um, I didn't like it in the extra large. I'm probably not gonna like it in the large, but let's try it on. So this is the large and I definitely like, I feel like it fits my breast tissue a little bit better. Um, the other one I felt like was almost a little too big, but I'm still getting the rolling. It's definitely a little snug around my actual body. It's on the last hook here. Um, not my favorite bra out of all of them. I feel like I like the idea of it. I just don't think that it's meant for someone with like a wider waist. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this particular one. Like I said, the exact same bra, just two different sizes. The next bra, it, there's no name on it, but I do believe I already own this one and I just literally wanted another one because I wear the other one so often. This is also in an extra large, has like this pretty V-neck shape. I'll just try it on. I actually think this one's slightly different than the other one that I have at home. Um, I think it's a little bit longer and there, I can't remember if mine came with cups or I removed them. This one does have cups. It's not adjustable at all. It's a one slide over piece. Um, I wear my other one a lot, like a lot. I really, really like it. I think it looks really cute as a top. Like I think this is a cute, like this is a cute top. Um, and in the summer too, you don't want to, you know, wear a bunch of layers so it's nice to just have something that gives you support coverage and you feel like you can just run around like i said i wouldn't probably wear it just by itself i generally wear it with like a top like a kimono or like a lightweight jacket or something like that over the top of it typically a kimono i wear a lot of kimonos um but i really like it i think it's really cute i will say i'm not getting the ton of the rolling up that was happening on the other one i feel like the material is a little bit stretchier it's also longer than the other one i feel like maybe the other one was like not enough fabric or like 
needed it was like in the middle ground you know what i mean i'm not gonna try on any more of the convertible ones but i did get the exact same ones that i just tried on before in this nude color which i like having nude bra so i was really excited about it but because it kind of rolls up really really awkwardly i'm probably not gonna get too much wear out of this but i have another one that's in a different style that i'm gonna try on for you guys it looks like i all no so this one is the true everyday smooth seam and the toasted almond in a size large so let's try this one on i'm not going to try this one on but like you guys have already seen it in two different sizes in black um same sort of colorway i think this is the this is the toasted almond and then this is the um toasted almond so same color just two different bras you know what i mean okay so i'm getting similar rolling on this one but there's not as much fabric so it doesn't feel like it's bunching under my breasts i think i'm gonna wear this one to be honest i think it has a lot of shaping um capabilities that the other ones didn't i feel like it's really good on in terms of like a nude bra option because like a lot of the time i need to wear a nude bra under like a white top but i don't like to wear a real nude bra because they're just like uncomfortable honestly i like wearing bralettes just because they're so much more freeing they feel like less material this one is adjustable so that's nice and also is adjustable on the back it's fully adjustable so i can tighten it if i need which i probably should tighten it up a little bit to give me a little bit more shape in the cups but i really like it coming in a little closer so you guys can see sorry the light's a little weird um i like this bra i think i would definitely be wearing this i've been wearing a lot more white nude tops lately so having more options i have a couple bras that i got from um tomboy x the ones with like the lines in the cup and while i like them i do feel like you can see that through the white tops so having something like this that is a little bit it's a little and it's a little better of an option plus it doesn't have the razorback um sort of vibe which i personally like i don't wear razorback white tops i wear like basic white tees or like a tank top with a v-neck or something like that so crop top with a v-neck rather and i feel like having something like this is a little better because you don't see the straps of the like the bra through the top does that make any sense it's been a long morning anyway moving on into the next one so we have the seamless convertible also in a size extra large i'm not going to try this one on either it's the exact same color the toasted almond we decided we didn't like this one unfortunately um but i just wanted to show you it in its entirety the light is definitely a little weird right now so i apologize about that i do like the material of it i think i'm gonna gift these bras to one of my girlfriends and see if she wants to try them on for herself um because i think you know she has a lot less flesh here so i feel like not she might not have the rolling up issue i actually have like a couple girlfriends i feel like would work one of my bodybuilding friends um i think this would be good for her she always has issues finding bras that fits her um so we'll see okay so just trying on the extra large and the like seamless convertible as i said it does definitely like roll up on me it's not as annoying as i feel like i was kind of making it out in the black but i just kind of wanted to show you guys what it look would look like on it definitely still does it i just feel like it's not like i wish it was here you know what i mean but it comes up like it just wants to continuously roll which i think is really annoying um and i can feel it underneath like i think the only way i would be able to wear this is if i literally like cut the material and i might do that well i can't do that because it has the back hook so i can't like adjust it in that fashion unless i just really wanted to jerry rig it but i think i'm just gonna give give these to a friend and see if they work for them but. so moving on we have another of the v-neck option um the razorback true body lift and this is in a size extra large and then dolce color so i'm gonna try this one on it's very similar to the black one that i tried on but i want you guys to kind of see just like the difference between the two um because i do really like this option this one doesn't have any padding in it so it's slightly different than the other one i just showed you but let's try it on 
Okay, so because this one doesn't have any padding and it's nude, you can definitely see through it. This one I have already at home and I've worn the crap out of it. I wear it almost like every day. I love this bra. Um, this is the style I think I was referring to initially that didn't have, um, I have it in the black and in the nude and I think that's this is the one I was thinking of rather than the first one because I don't think I've tried that style on but it's very similar but this one's a little bit more minimal. Um, you guys can see it's like very, very thin and stretchy. Doesn't have any um, attachments, it's uh, not adjustable at all, but I really, really, really like this style. Um, it's definitely like one of my go-to. It's very minimal, like I almost feel like I'm naked when I'm wearing it, which is amazing. I feel like I just don't want you to see my nipples, but you can see it's very, very, very minimal. It like kind of blends into the skin, which I think is great. So I'm gonna just hold this one up so you can't see my nipples. This is a very similar style, but it um, has like a more rounded neckline and a little booby like holder holsters. Um, I'm gonna try this one on for you guys as well. I do have this style already in the black and I love it um, and I wear it constantly. So I just kind of wanted more nude bra options. All right, so here's this one also completely nude and very much like a naked top, but you can see the neckline is very much different than the other one that I just tried on. Here's the back. It's really, really, really comfortable. I love this one. Like I said, I have it in the black, so I want it in the white, um, like nude option. Again, this neckline is better because I can wear it with regular t-shirts as opposed to the like Razorback, which kind of limits you in terms of what tops you can wear. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I typically I'll wear it with like a white t-shirt sometimes, but I feel like I just don't like showing it as much. Um, but I do think that it would be good for some like particular pieces in my wardrobe. I'm gonna just slightly cover. One more bra and then a bunch of underwear. So I'm gonna put this one on. This is similar to one of the other styles I just tried on for you guys, but it is in the black. So let me put it on um, and just so you can see what it's called. Everyday smooth um, seam uh in a large black okay so i decided to put some underwear on this is the calvin klein underwear in like a super stretchy material i really like these underwear um they are the bikini brief um and an extra large by calvin klein they're really really comfortable very very stretchy um i like them i think they're great for shorts and stuff because you won't be able to see any lines. I feel like they're very seamless, but we didn't come here strictly for the underwear. This is the top I was mentioning before. It's the same size as the nude that I got before. I do really like this bra. I think, honestly, I kind of want to try both of them in a size extra large just to see the difference. Um, I do wish I had gotten them both in a size extra large because I are like, I wish I had gotten those in different sizes because I feel like the other ones are sort of a dud in terms of what I personally liked but I love it. I think it's really comfortable. I definitely, as you can tell, there's a little bit of rolling, so I feel like the extra large probably would have been a little bit of a better fit, potentially. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Okay, put my shorts back on because I'm just gonna show you the underwear. I know my underwear is distracting for some people. So I'm just gonna show you the underwear options. Most of these I feel like are a little too sheer for um, YouTube and I don't wanna get demonetized. So this one is a very much a sheer panty. I got this one in a different, couple different colorways. I do really like this color, it fits well. It's in a size extra large. I do wish there was a little bit more coverage. I wish they were a little higher waisted. For me personally, I put them over the Calvin Klein just to see and they barely covered them. Just so you guys can like figure out in terms of what, like how much coverage that is. It's not a lot. I got that style in a couple of different nude colors. So maybe like, I think they had like this nude which doesn't say what the color is on the tag. And then this is actually more of a pink nude. And I got these underwear in a couple different colors. So this is very seamless underwear, hence the reason I'm a little afraid to show you guys. Again, it's a little low cut for me. I feel like it's great for shorts and stuff. Sometimes my shorts aren't super high waisted, so like I do need something that's not gonna like peek out from the top. Um, they're great for, you know, jeans, they're great for anything like that where you want a like very smooth, seamless line, but you don't need a Spanx, per, like a full on Spanx rather, but you can see them here. They're very seamless, very like raw edge sort of vibe. I think it's a similar color. 
but these are them. Again, very basic sort of underwear. We have the black. I personally love these type of underwear. I don't like seeing lines um, at all uh, a lot of the time. And I feel like this type of thing is great for photo shoots if you're wanting something that you're like worried about panty lines and stuff like that, which is like my pet peeve when I'm shooting people and I can see everything like that. So having a panty like this where you don't see any lines is great. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and also honestly, like I feel like you can wear these types of bras in everyday situations. I shoot in these bras a lot and I feel like you can't really tell I'm not wearing a real bra so to speak but I love these and then we have some thongs which I don't really wear thongs that often but I know it's good to have them again for the seamless panty line idea so I got them in nude and then also in black and these fit really well I'm not gonna try them on because it's literally like being naked in front of the camera but um, I do really really like them um, these I think are the ones I tried on so they're a little wrinkly but I think they're really cute and very minimal so they're great again to keep lines from happening and then these are the last pair the black just I don't know if it's exciting to see someone hold up underwear um, you're welcome if it is or you know not I don't know um, and here are the black ones again very similar and that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's pretty like I mean I guess it's not super comprehensive because I didn't try on the ones that I didn't like in terms of like I already tried on the black so I hope you guys won't kill me for doing that but I just I don't know I felt like it was so annoying to have them like roll down roll up it's just like I want something seamless and like I said this one's kind of doing it but because it's so much like a thinner band it doesn't do it as noticeably if that makes any sense um, anyway I hope you guys are having a great day if you want to hear more about true and co definitely comment below or go check out their website they have a lot of different options they do something where you can like do it like a fit test you can put in your sizes I think they also have like put in your sizes but you can also say like what size you are in certain brands which i do like i think that's them if it's not don't kill me but i think that's them i have found that like they're very true to size there um i'm generally like a 40 c 38 double d depending on the brand and i have a few bras by them that are in their like um 38 double d and it feels really really well so i mean i definitely would take a peek at them but Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sorry if this video was a little all over the place, but I will talk to you later. Bye.